I'm gonna talk to you about tectonic plates and earthquakes. Come here, I got my super duper diorama of science here, and I'm showing when two tectonic plates go like this, it creates a mountain or something like that. Now say if, uh, I don't know, uh, a building was on here, it would crumble down to the thing, and it might injure this person, making him have, I don't know, an eye patch, or maybe even worse, a robotic leg, even though that would be pretty cool. Either way, what I'm trying to say is, earthquakes are pretty bad. Find the sturdiest cover that you can. Cover, get down. Situation covers. Suitable cover during an earthquake include desks, tables, and so on. Any piece of your furniture that can be affected you from falling debris can be used. Run from the kitchen or your home office as these areas usually have the earthquake covers. If you cannot find any suitable cover, go to the corner of the house. One without any frames or cabinetry that may fall on you and cover your head with your arms. Crouch as low as you can and wait for the earthquake to subside. show you another representation of, of tectonic plates with my handy dandy pen of science so but besides the drawing which kind of stunk I'm gonna show you something even better right here is the Japanese islands with volcanoes conversing plates melting magma and in the middle there there's that stuff that we learned about in class it's like a liquid but a solid there's the shelf and the trends and right here a tectonic Tectonic plate is converging the plates, which is pretty much crashing. And that's how we get our volcanoes and mountains, kids. Well, hope you liked Tectonic Plates Part 2. Hi, I'm Bill Nye, and I want to show you what not to do during an earthquake. Don't throw things at the ceiling. 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 Oh, it's an earthquake!
upset, because this would be a really bad situation if you were in there. Any questions? Oh, me, me, me. Uh, you in the brown pants right there. Me, no, no, me. Oh, me. oh okay, you. Alright, well, first, why is there that guy from the stupid TV show, like, everywhere? I mean, he's right here, even. But that's Grunkle Stan. <laughs> and why was Bill Nye there? For fun? And what if I just watched a stupid prep video and there happened to be an earthquake? There's no and there's no exits, huh? Huh? That's right, speechless. What the? But, but, if you, now, you see, young man, if you actually pay attention during the video and not be aborted because of that stupid elevator theme, you would see that if you were listening, you would have to crawl under there. Now, say if you were downstairs and I don't know, the door was blocked. You would, the best place and the best bet would be to find a sturdy place, like say the stairs, right down here, and you would crawl under there and just do like this. Right, young man? By the way, detention, get out of my class. Bill Nye, and I'm gonna talk to you about how earthquakes affect people. Hi, Xander, how's it going? You just friggin' ruined the whole thing. Huh? <laughs> Hi, Billy and I here, and I'm gonna talk to you about how to add to an earthquake. Go read it. Uh, you have to read it to them. I'm not gonna! It's in the contract. What contract? The contract you signed for your okay, life. Okay, I didn't sign no, no contract. Uh, yes you did. Read it yourself! Oh, well, I'm Bill Nye and I'm gonna talk to you about tectonic plates and what they do. Even though I did that crappy drawing, I'm gonna show you another thing. A better representation of what it is. Bloop! So, there's the Japanese island. In fact, better represented with my handy dandy pen of science. Where it is. Where's my handy dandy pen of science? Ah, there's my handy dandy pen of science. There's my handy dandy, 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 dand